In this lesson, we'll cover step footings. So when you first draw your structural footings in Revit, you may not know the grade of the actual property. So therefore, everything is drawn at a specific depth or uniformity around the building. For example, look at your 3D view of the model. You can see all of these structural walls, in this case the foundation wall, and the footings are of the same depth all the way around. Now, this could be the case, but let's say as we get information, we know the grade changes. Therefore, we have to make the depth of the structural wall deeper. And what we would like to do is step the foundations below in a stepped approach for that depth. So how do we go about doing that? Well, this could be done by editing the profile of a wall. So first of all, the actual structural walls were created and the foundations were placed below the structural walls. Next, we want to modify one of the wall properties. So let's go to the east elevation. Scroll down and double click east. Now on the east elevation, we're going to modify the very bottom wall. This is the structural foundation wall. Go ahead and mouse over it until it highlights and select it. With this structural foundation wall selected, on the ribbon, click Edit Profile. What happens next is all of the other walls and elements gray out and this wall itself now shows its perimeter or border highlighted in magenta. What we want to do now is use the draw tools in the upper right to draw the new outline of the wall, in this case, how it's stepped down for a deeper depth. So I'm going to start by using the line command. So go ahead and click line on the draw panel, and I'm going to zoom in to the right. Now I'm going to come in from the outside roughly about eight feet. Click, and then start to draw it down. I'm going to drop down about two feet. Click, start to drag your mouse horizontally, and I'm going to come over about six feet. Click again, and then drop down another two feet. Come over, let's say, another six feet. Drop down two more feet, and come over another six feet. Now I'll drop down one more time, two feet. Then what I'm going to do is zoom out a little bit, scroll over toward the left side, and then I'm going to start to repeat the process where I'm going to click about 42 feet across. I'll zoom back in and I'll come back up two feet, click, drag over, let's say six feet. And as you're doing this, if your dimensions aren't exactly the same as mine, that's perfectly okay. We're illustrating here the ability to actually edit the perimeter of the wall, which will then change the actual look and layout of that wall itself. So as long as the actual lines are connected at the end, the look and feel of what you're creating can be different. So what I did here is I actually added a new profile on the bottom because maybe this narrows down or this is the grade of the land. Now I'm not saying this is right or wrong, this is just an example. Now when you do this, the wall profile lines cannot have multiple lines inside. They only have to be on the perimeter. So we need to remove this line segment in the middle. And to do that, I first need to split this in two so I can actually use my trim tools. So on the ribbon in the modify area, I'm gonna choose split elements. So click split element, and then simply move over this horizontal line that was the original bottom of the wall and click a point. The point doesn't matter as long as you split it. Now on the modify panel of the ribbon, click trim extend to corner. But we're going to pick the pieces that we want to keep. So on the right side of the wall, click the very bottom line of the existing wall, then click the first vertical line that we drew for the actual change. Repeat the process on the other side. Select the bottom part of the existing wall, and then select that last vertical line that trims off everything to the other side of the vertical lines. Now what we're left with is a nice profile of this wall. Now, if you have any openings or overlapping lines, Revit will notify you that you cannot complete this command until you remedy those. So with this step complete, let's click the green check mark. If your walls are okay, Revit recreates the walls. And what you'll notice now is the footing is stepped. It steps down below the profile of the wall. Let's go back to our 3D view. Now here within the 3D view, you can actually see the step footing. So as a review, in this lesson, we covered step footings. To create a step footing, one method is to actually modify the wall profile. If this is a straight wall, simply go to an elevation view, select the wall, and click Edit Profile. 
then sketch new lines for the wall profile, making sure the end result is a continuous line profile. If you have any overlapping lines or gaps, Revit will notify you that the profile is not complete. Once complete, click OK, the wall updates to the new profile, and the footing attached to the wall splits to make a stepped footing below the profile. 